we do know obviously I just I think it just takes a few minutes on your news feed whether it's on Facebook Instagram um, to see that parents are very um, much engaged on these social networking sites to share information about their their children whether it's a personal experience a family holiday a Christmas a photo shoot for example now with Halloween around the corner we'll get um, parents posting photos of the children in the cute Halloween costumes and and tagging friends and so forth so it's something we see every day so we want to really assess whether what they're doing on social media whether it's it's done appropriately so we want to know and assess and um, that level of data protection awareness in that regard and obviously um, I think it's very important for me to mention that we do not want to discourage people people from using social networking sites but we do need to 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 put the message out there that it's very important that they use the privacy controls available and um, that they use social networking sites re uh, responsibly and appropriately um, and just be very aware of what exactly they're doing with their personal data online. You say you don't want to discourage people from using social media. Is there any sort of content that you would advise people against sharing at all? Or is it more of a question that people should just make sure they have those privacy controls in place? Exactly. I think it's it's fine to share as long as you have the privacy controls in place. Every person will have different privacy controls depending on, on how they wish to use social media. Again, we don't want to discourage people, people from moving away from those platforms, but we do want them to, to use them responsibly. They must understand, um, and I think this is where we're going with this campaign, because I think there's very little understanding or regard to the fact that... Um, Posting your child's information, whether it's a comment, whether it's a photo or video, online is is very much contributing to the digital footprint. And once you you create that digital footprint, it's out there. And I wouldn't like to say it's impossible to to remove, but it, it can be very difficult. And we we've all heard of different stories about people creating this digital identity online and maybe having. The, the, uh, sharing this information online having a detrimental effect on that child's privacy, safety um, and the identity may be going forward as well because once it's out there, it's out there for, for years. You're reaching out to the community with this survey. What information are you looking for and how can people access it? This survey is, uh, the aim of the survey is twofold. As I said earlier, um, the, in the first part it's to assess um, or provide an insight into the prevalence of sharing in Gibraltar. And secondly, we want to assess the level of data protection awareness amongst our target audience, which as I said earlier, are parents, guardians, carers. Um, so the survey has been released um, on our GRA social media platforms already. We've got Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube. Um, so the survey link has been provided on any on all of those platforms. You can also find all the information regarding this campaign on our GRA, GRA website. Um, and the survey in itself, it's just made up of 15 multiple choice questions. It's fully anonymized and it would not take you more than five minutes to complete. So I really want to encourage um, our local community to engage with us to, to complete the survey so we can really get a, a good feel about um, the, how much sharing team does really take place in Gibraltar.